Friends, it's happening. Summer is winding down and kids are heading back to school. Well, that means parents are running to stores to buy supplies and clothes and, of course, making a face when they see how much it all costs. That's because it's a small fortune. But no worries, Jimmy Rhodes has money saving back to school shopping hacks. And that's our featured story at the top of the list. It's time to think about back to school and savings expert Tina Sue from Free Stuff Finder is here to help. Hey Jimmy, here are some back to school money saving strategies. Tina's first tip, plan to make multiple shopping trips. Be strategic about what to buy where. Some stores will have certain items cheaper than other stores. For example, at the Dollar Tree, you can get three ring binders for a dollar, also pencil pouches, dry erase markers, flashcards, and calculators. And other stores have their own deals. Five Below also has backpacks for $5, and they have a large variety to choose from. Every kind of store will be getting in on the action. Don't forget about drugstores. For example, Walgreens, I got scissors last week for 50 cents, and this pack of pencils for 50 cents. Next, be sure to work the rebates. Keep an eye out for rebates and other promotions where you can get items for free or super cheap. Manufacturers know that a lot of consumers won't follow through on rebates, so the deals are often better than coupons. So for example, right now there is a big rebate where you can get big pens, these gel pens, completely free up to $16. And this rebate offer is good until the middle of September, so you can still do this. Finally, if you take only one piece of advice, be sure to shop the loss leaders. Loss leaders are items that the store is selling at a loss in order to get you to come into the store to hopefully buy full price items. So grab the loss leader and get out, but hurry. Loss leaders can sell really quickly. They usually have a limited supply, so you want to hit it up on the first day of the sale. And Sunday is the day the most stores will start their sale. Loss leaders are usually on the first page of store flyers, so use those to plan ahead. For example, Walgreens or Office Depot or Staples, they release their ad for the next week on Thursday, the previous week. So you have a few days to check out the ad, see what their lost leaders are and plan your trip for Sunday. Back to school savings, we're at the top of the list. <laughs>